American Society of Newspaper Editors, ladies and gentlemen, the president of a great democracy such as ours, and the editors of great newspapers such as yours, owe a common obligation to the people, an obligation to present the facts, to present them with candor, and to present them in perspective. It is with that obligation in mind that I have decided in the last 24 hours to discuss briefly this time the recent events in Cuba. On that unhappy island, as in so many other arenas of the contest for freedom, the news has grown worse. At this time, I have the honor to present to you the moral leader of our nation. I have the pleasure to present to you Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day, on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day, even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, we will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. But I, I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. 